Hey there and welcome. My name is Crossbert and let's start talking about what is going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here. I say explicitly, said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra. And other links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so you can jump to the point of your preference. And let's start this week's episode with Hit and Die by Mateus Guax, a creator from RPG Latin, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. Hit and Die is a minimalist skirmish game that was submitted for the RPG Latam Jam 2022 that is still going on, so you can still check it out. The game is based on the mini BX system that we already mentioned here, that I was an editor and all of that, and was created with the goal of being customizable and easy to play. It brings so many interesting miniatures and illustrations that I really think that you should check it out and get inspired to create your own as well. The idea of the game is exactly that, is for it to be really a living game that will be updated following feedback. So by any means, do not hesitate to try and give it a try and give your feedback to the creators of it. We also have the release of the first issue of Aberdeen by Bats. Aberdeen is a zini that takes you beneath the skyline. It is a modern fantasy setting for you to use with your system of choice, where each issue explores a different district of mercy, mercy being the center of the known world. The zini presents some of the districts of the Mother Row with its locations, NPCs, some backgrounds and plenty of rich options to explore and give life to this district and setting, including some dungeon crawls and some other ideas for adventures. Each district will be presented in time in different issues of the Zini, and they will have different, like a world of faces, history and ruin and all of that uh, and even some resurrections for you to explore and i have to say that the layout is amazing as well uh, oozing the vibe of blinking neon that we can see already on the cover it is available as a free pdf on each or you can go to the nerves store and get a physical copy okay that are the two options so check both of them and i mean it's a free pdf it it costs you nothing to just check it out. Released this week was also the BBEG by Maps and Quests, a submission for Caltrop Jam. In this rules light game, you will take the role of the villain, and or villains in plural, and you will try to prevent the heroes from reaching their goals, or even recruit them to your side. Who knows? After all, you are not all of that different. When you really look at it, right, you have so many things in common. Both, both of you will do whatever needed to transform your vision and goals into reality. So you put your group of villains together and go for it. Another game that was made available this week is Art Exhibit by Armanda, another creator from RPG Latam. This solo collecting and journaling game was inspired by the layout on slides like PowerPoints or Google Slides as well that Bianca Momatos used on their games. Like Bianca is a creator from RPG C, the Southeast Asia tabletop RPG scene, and that we already mentioned here and inter interviewed here as well. You can check it out. But the layout that they brought, the art and inspiration that they bring to the game is amazing. So more on art exhibit and the layout was inspired by Bianca. Well, it's about a contemplation of beauty and life and it you play as an art collector that was actually kind of asked to exhibit some of their art pieces. And you then will either take pictures of objects that you have around you or you can even search through the internet you know, like the internet, they have pictures of everything, in order to respond to the prompts of the game and explore this idea of life and contemplation. So it's a really interesting premise and the layout is re re really, really, really looking good. So check it out as well. And not a game per se, but 
Turn by Traverse Fantasy is a reference for tabletop game players and referees who use the randomized dungeon crawl procedure. It is a trifold pamphlet format and it's totally abstracted from other systems. What it means is that it it has no mentions of hit points, ability scores, saving throws, and all that jazz. This way, you can implement it with the system of your choice and bring the hazard die into it. And, oh, actually, Turn also offers an introductory explanation of what is the hazard die in it per se, and where it came from and how it got into the idea of the games and dungeon crawls that we are already used to. A very interesting title, if you ask me. So, another one to give a look at. On articles and threads, this great blog post by Prismatic Wasteland on universal system ne neutral stats. It is a quick read that goes from defining the, what would be a system neutral adventure, passing a bit on a possible distinction between system neutral and system agnostic that I won't expand here because this is a whole different discussion up to the point of proposing these universal system neutral stats. I thought it was an elegant way of dealing with it when creating system neutral adventures, so I recommend the read not only for people that are trying to create new adventures, but also from people that are trying new systems or different systems or trying to adapt the game or an adventure that they got from a different game into the game of their choice. It is one more tool available for creators and GMs, referees, or how you prefer to relate to them. For this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about the series. You know how the algorithm and all of that. And you can pay me a coffee on coffee. You can buy my games on itch.io and I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!